Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome back. And if you're a new subscriber, just have a seat, watch, relax, take your snacks, and somebody will be with you shortly to welcome you to our channel, okay? <laughs> So if you like a new subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please join the family by clicking the subscribe button and also click the bell notification notification bell right beside the subscribe button so that you'll be notified anytime I post a new video, okay? And yeah, so leave a comment below. Also click like and you know share this video if you feel like it, okay? So yeah, you guys. Yeah, um, I don't know who sent me to wear this kind of big earring go. Like I don't know. I just like it, but it looks like I'm going to pull my ear, my ear down. <laughs> Beauty is pain, okay? Beauty is pain. <laughs> to be honest, moment of truth. I just want to tell you guys the truth. I have been stuck in 2019, okay? I have been stuck in 2019. I don't know what's going on. I started this year with a lot of vigor, a lot of, you know, expectation, high expectations, a lot of excitement. But for some reason, things are just... I just feel like I'm stuck in 2019. Like, things have not really changed. For me, things have not changed. Everybody, I'm just talking. Everybody's just making progress here and there, you know, announcing what they're going to be doing in 2020. You know, everybody's just. Well, me, I'm just like I just want to live through the day. I just, I'm just there, like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna take my kids to school and then I'll see what I can do. Like, I don't understand what's going on. So right now, I'm trying to see if I can just change up a few things in my life so that other things will follow suit. Okay, I want a few things in my life to enter 2020. Once I can change quickly, and then enter twenty twenty, so that the rest of the things can follow. Because I still feel like I'm stuck in twenty nineteen. Like, no, that's not the plan. January is almost finishing. That's not the plan. Anyway, so yeah, um, the first thing I did was to go and relax my hair. You guys, I tried. I tried the natural life. I stayed natural for three years. My hair grew. You know, I love this. <laughs> but to be honest, natural hair is stressful. Taking care of natural hair, like I don't know how you guys do it, but it is so stressful. Sometimes I spend Saturday and Sunday doing my hair. Why? Is it not just hair? Why should I take two days out of my week making hair, doing my? It doesn't make sense. My wash day is like the whole day. It's literally wash day, wash day and night. Okay. So to be honest, I just told myself, you know what? When my kids are older and I'm more, you know, relaxed and I'm, I'm more free, I'll go back natural. But right now, I went to salon, I went to relax, as in, they put the creamy crack and straightened all my coils very well. And to be honest, I'm enjoying it. I can just wake up in the morning, brush my hair and be going. Or like before that, I have to be thinking, oh, I have to wear, I have to curl my hair, I have to do that I, before I can brush my hair. Like, and you guys, my major issue why I went natural was because I have extremely sensitive scalp and my hair used to burn from relaxers. So I said, ha, ah, it must be the relaxer, let me go natural. <laughs> Wrong. It actually became worse because my hair was now tough and my scalp is still sensitive. So anytime I finish detangling my hair, by the next day, my scalp is inflamed, it starts hurting, pains. It starts flaking, you know, I realized that my hair was flaking so much and the flakes are not even dandruff. They are more like inflamed scalp. I don't know if you call it psoriasis or something. I'm just self-diagnosing at this point. But yeah, my scalp was really bad while it was natural. If I wash my hair today, by tomorrow it's going to turn white. I'm going to have pains on my scalp. So I just told myself, you know what? Since the scalp issue did not change with going natural, let me just go back to relaxed hair. I know that at least I'm not dealing with pain every weekend or every time I have to do my hair and it, uh, again. So anyway, yeah, that's about my hair part. Then I am also going to get a massage. Me and my husband are going to get a massage. It's a full body massage. We're going to my friend's spa somewhere on Transamadic. No of her spa is Dream Day Spa. You guys should go and check her out. Like I went there last week to go and, you know, see her see the spa and it was so beautiful it's not like the regular normal potter cuts if you guys have been to potter cuts or if you live in potter cuts it's not it's not normal potter cuts potter cuts standard this, the spa is so beautiful her prices are affordable she's even running some promos right now on her prices so you guys go and check her out the dream day spa i'll leave links to her instagram page and you know her contacts in the description box so you guys should go and check her out me and my husband are going now to go and get our anniversary anniversary was last month though. we are going now to go and get our anniversary massage i want to do the massage and i also want to 
um do pedicure manicure just every i just want everything facials everything not today anyway i won't do everything today but whatever i can do today i'll do tomorrow i'll do the rest arrange my life and i also want to take a break from social media okay not from youtube oh, i can't take a break from youtube i'm sorry i have not reached that level i'm sorry i'm not rich i'm not reached the level of taking a break from youtube okay <laughs> I'm not big like that, so I'm not taking a break from YouTube. I'll still be filming and posting videos, but I might not be replying to every comment the way I used to. What I want to do is to limit my social media time to an hour or two hours a day. So I come online, reply all the comments, you know, go on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yes, yeah, so you guys, all my social media is in the description box. So please check them out. Follow me on Twitter, on YouTube. Uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, I'll soon add Snapchat, Tom, uh, Tumblr, or oh, join Link LinkedIn. I will, I will join all of them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> LinkedIn, TikTok, anyone, I will join all of them. Okay, like I feel like I need a break. I need a serious break. I have not taken a break in years. Okay, it's not even about YouTube. It's about not taking a break. Like I'm not taking a break in years. Um, the time I took a break, which was a vacation. I was pregnant with Ava, so it wasn't really a vacation for me. I was, I, I felt like vomiting throughout, and it was Dubai. The weather was so hot, so we didn't really do much. So all these things, I'm just doing them to put myself in the right frame of mind, so that February first, I'll be ready for 2020. Okay, right now we are still stuck in 2019. We are just trying to wrap up 2019 in January. Anyway, I'm talking too much. My time for my appointment is by 10 a.m. I think it's almost 10 a.m. now. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the spa. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> see Eva. Eva, let's see your dress. Hey, come on, let's see your dress. <laughs> this is mommy one. <laughs> and mommy two. Yeah, I'm back from the uh, massage. I had a lovely time there. <laughs> so I really enjoyed myself. Um, in the massage, like I slept off when I woke up. Self, I was just like, Where am I? What am I doing here? I didn't know when I slept off. It was so relaxing. Hey, hey, you shall let me talk. The massage was so relaxing, like, I really enjoyed myself. They are going to make it a a constant something, okay? I'm going to make it a constant activity in my life to be getting frequent massages. Yeah, so I'll be going back for facials and pedicure. I think I'll take my kids with me for the pedicure, yes? And mommy, will, mommy will be a spaceship. Be a spaceship. No. We'll just dress up like a cooker. A cook. A cook. <laughs> you want to be a cook? Yes. What do you want to cook for us? I I want to cook tomatoes. And what? <laughs> and chicken. Tomatoes and chicken. <laughs> Which food is that? <laughs> it's, 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 it's just, it, it's, it's just a Nigerian food. It's a Nigerian food. Tomatoes and chicken. That is stew. Yes. Okay, what will you eat with this stew? Mommy! Yes? Uh, mommy! Is it uh, girl? Hmm? It's mommy! Is it girl? Is it girl? What happens to the girl? You put my clothes on your girl's head. <laughs> Eva, this thing will, this will not make you fall, no. Eh, no, 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 no. Nope. Whoa. That's why I always keep this thing up here because because this always what they will spoil it. Mommy, your bad eye. 
Lenny. Mommy! Yes? And look at her eyes. And look at my eye. It's makeup. Makeup? Yes. Makeup, makeup. <laughs> do you like makeup? Eva, do you like makeup? Right. Hey guys, good morning. So, <laughs> this is actually a few days after I did my massage. And like I said, that massage was so relaxing. And after the massage, my husband paid for me to go and get facials done. But you guys, I've not had time to go and do this. Like, it's so funny that I've been saying, oh, I need facials, I need facials. But right now, I've, money is actually there running. <laughs> you guys, I'm actually going there now. I'm going to get facials done. And I also want to wax. Okay, that's, that's the reason why I was delaying a bit. I wanted my body hair to grow so that I can wax for the first time in my life. Hey, I'm already scared. I'm already scared because I don't like pain like I don't like pain I'm some good sky guys I'm not you guys should not laugh at me though. so yeah I'll catch you guys later facials now like i feel so relaxed i feel so good like you guys i'm going to keep coming back here you know i'm going to make it something i'll be doing frequently because sometimes we take all these things for granted we don't know how much damage we're doing to our skin by not taking care of it anyway i couldn't wax today because it's already time for pickup and i'm the only one my husband's not around so i have to go and pick up the kids myself so i couldn't i couldn't wax today so i'll have to come back tomorrow to wax and probably do my pedicure like you guys i'm taking out time to take care of myself because like i said february 1st is my own new year so <laughs> this is what i'm doing so that i will start the new year my new year you know better so yeah um i'll see you guys later so my favorite animal is the bird. And my animal is a pig. Pig, okay. Yes. I like a goat. I like a I like a bird. A bird? But I've said bird before. Okay. I like Hanari bird. Hmm? I said I like Halloween bird. Halloween bird. <laughs> okay, I like uh, a spider. Ah, no, no, no. No, a spider can turn you into a spider web. So I should not like spider. Okay, I like a dog. Yes. Okay. I like a hummingbird. You like a hummingbird? Okay. Sit down now. I like a frog. Sit down, sit down. I like a frog. I like a frog. Wow. How about I like a I like a fish. Ooh. I like a snake. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Snake can bite everybody. Ha, has snake beaten you before? No. Mm, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh yeah, let's play. 
in Jesus' name. I know, I didn't say pray. Next, next. Pray. Yeah. Mm. Pray. Give her, give her, give her, give her, give her. Okay, so I like a seahorse. Um, I mean, I like a, I like a shark. A shark. Yes. Okay, can you sing the shark song for me? Eva, can you yes. sing the shark song? Yes. Baby shark. Baby shark. Shark do do Baby shark do do do. Baby shark do do do. Cora, okay, so what's the time? Cora. It's seven. No, one. Seven. Three. 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 Put this on me. Yeah, come on, sit down. Okay, one, seven, three, three. That's five, thirty, three. It's working. See. Uh oh, oh, it's not charged. Yes. Eva, yeah, where is your tablet? This is Cora's one. Cora, where is Eva? Okay, see so Eva's one here. Mom, mommy. Hmm. Uh, I'm mommy. I'm <laughs> Hey guys, so you guys are not going to believe it, but this is like after I think it's one week or two weeks after the last time I picked up my camera. I think it's one week after anyway. So yeah, I'm finally going to wax today. Um I actually did not go since because I've had too many things to do and my mom was not around. And when he's not around, I have to do everything. The only time I have to do what I need to do alone is between you know when I drop the kids and when I go and pick them and sometimes I'm just tired around that time or I have other pressing things to do so anyway he's back now this is like afternoon or some Friday Thursday afternoon so I am going to wax to the um, I've been saving Ampit's hair <laughs> for it I also did not shave my legs because I wanted to wax to get them waxed so um, hopefully yeah, hopefully I can endure the pain and get it done and I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm doing yeah, let me wind up and start going. Anyway, so yeah, see you guys there. Me too. I'm not even with them to your face. I'm done with all my self-care activities and I feel so rejuvenated guys I feel so good I feel so happy I feel like my life is now back on track I feel like I'm now ready for for the new year <laughs> so you guys if you're like me and you've not really taken care of yourself in a while you guys it is so important I can't emphasize how important it is for you to take out time to you know get a massage get your feet done wax just you know, facial, do stuff like that because at the end of the day, this life is often beautiful. You came to this, you only live once at the end of the day. Okay, don't don't finish yourself. Um, most of us spend so much time caring for others, working, and then we forget ourselves. Please don't forget yourself in this 2020. You need to um, remember yourself from time to time and just do things that would um, put you in a better place both emotionally and physically okay so yeah i'm done with all that the next thing i'm going to be tackling now is weight loss okay i'm embarking on a new weight loss journey and i'm going to tell you guys about it later on uh i've been trying to lose weight for, for as long as i remember since i've since i was a young child when people were not even thinking about it i was already thinking about losing weight because i was on the heavy side when i was younger so yeah last year i decided to take a break from trying to lose weight and i gained a lot of weight <laughs> I really let myself go on purpose. 
and somehow somehow i now couldn't get myself back to where i needed to be so i'm going to be tackling weight loss next but for now i feel so good some people are, have been noticing that yeah i'm glowing differently in my videos and all that you guys it's because i have taken care of myself okay so if you're like me and you're in Porta Court, if you're not in Porta Court and you're coming to town and you need a good spa to go to please go and check out dream day spa they are having some discounts now i think they have vouchers or something for discount i'm not really sure i'll put all the um links in the description box and i'll put their details there call them up and just call them up and join find out what you can do there they're very affordable if you can do everything i did and plus more please do everything but if you cannot afford to do everything at least get one thing done if you can't person that see my husband was skeptical about massages he felt like it's a waste of time it's a waste of money after the massage himself he testified <laughs> I was just like, look at you, look at you. He testified to how good um, getting a massage is. It is so relaxing. It puts you in a different, the music and everything puts you in a different, you know, mental space and all that. So yeah, you guys go and try it out. The one that me and I won't do again is waxing. Mm -mm -mm. Waxing is painful. See, I don't know who invented waxing. Like some people just like pain. Some people like me, I don't like pain. Okay. But to be honest, my armpits feels differently. And the fact that the hair takes longer to grow. Uh, so in that aspect, waxing is good, but the pain. <sighs> but there are measures to take sure, to reduce the pain. If you're a kind of person that has a very high, uh, has a very low threshold for pain, or is it high or low? If if pain pains you a lot, <laughs> okay, um, there are measures to take so that waxing is not that painful. So I might still get waxing done in the future. Then my skin, you can see my skin is glowing. I don't even need to say that one differently. So I'm going to be exploring new skincare um products you guys people have been asking me to do a skincare video would like to know my skincare products and all that i see you guys i'm the wrongest person to be asking advice on skincare because i am not so dedicated to you know taking care of my skin some days i mean the highest i do is wash my face with uh neutrogena face wash and, and in my mind i have done enough one thing that i have tried to incorporate and i do a lot now is um using sunscreen because i have hyperpigmentation this mark on my face is not contour it is not contour it is hyperpigmentation so um i'm going to be exploring products affordable products okay if you're a person likes to follow all these youtubers and be buying those expensive things you are going to waste your time because number one a lot of them earn so much money they are into beauty is their job literally their job is beauty so they can afford those things and then lot of them get those products for free but if you have the money oh, i want to buy those expensive products that's fine that's good okay but more I, I i want to be like you when i grow up but for me right now i can't afford so many expensive things so i'm going to be exploring um really affordable products that will tackle mostly hyperpigmentation and large pores because those are my problem areas i have large pores on my cheeks and then hyperpigmentation my neck is a little bit darker than the rest of my body okay um i have oily skin which to me is a plus i actually love the fact that i have oily skin it just means that i'm too oily to crack anytime soon okay <laughs> okay oh uh, yeah so i'm going to be looking like this for a very long time that's what it means because people with oily skin age slower that's what i heard anyway i'm not sure but yeah i mean if you also eat right and you know live a good life you age slower but people with oily skin have a higher probability of or people with oily skin are less likely to are less prone to wrinkles okay so anyway i said all that to say expect a skincare video for me pretty soon i'm going to use this period to test out new products and see what works for me over a period of time anyway because i want to come here and tell you guys what i'm not sure for what i haven't tried myself okay so yeah that's it about that so you guys there's so many things that are packed that i have packed for you guys this year so please follow me on instagram i'm actually active there on my insta stories sometimes okay but follow me on instagram you guys i'm trying to build my other social media so that i mean we can be all around us okay so instagram twitter everything is there in the description box and yeah also subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed and please turn on the notification bell it's very important though. you guys might see that it's a very smart thing it's very important but and also give this video a like that's two seconds it takes to just click like you guys it helps this it helps us a lot as youtubers please okay yeah so and i'll see you all in my next video bye